Well, my friend, I know you're a gamer. Because you're a gamer, you got gamer friends too. So I've uh, set up this little presentation to see if you know your friends very well. I would like to think that I do, but I can at least think of one or two that will be probably extremely obvious. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a creative man. I didn't take this from anywhere, surely. Surely I didn't take this from any big channel out there. No, never. <laughs> but, you know, I put, my, I put my own spin on it. Might be a little tough because we have a less big group, but this is as big as a group if I could find. So, my gamer friend, are you ready? Um, yes, I think. All right. So, you, you yourself here is shown to be a gamer. Yep. That's that's my face. It's yeah, my, and it, <laughs> my costume. Uh, I, I think you might do pretty good. You know, you'll, you'll definitely get close with some people. A lot of people are like similar in uh, in interest, and I thought like there's a lot of people that have the same games. Really? Yeah. So it'll it'll be definitely close for people. <sighs> okay, that <laughs> makes it a little bit more difficult, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the first one? Yes. <laughs> but, All right, buddy. First one. Let's, let's start it. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> is this already... Like, do I already think that this is Levi? Does it make sense? Because these are the only games that we play with him. <laughs> um, I mean, because we only really played Rainbow Six on console for a long time. Yeah. He was super into Minecraft, but so was but so was Bjorn. That was a lot of our groups. But so was Bjorn. And then we did the money matches for Super Smash Bros. Okay, so I guess I'll have to like I guess we're doing this to where I commit to a name first. Yeah, you gotta commit to it now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the easy one's gonna go out of the way. I think this is Levi to start with. Okay. For slide one. Alright, we're locking down Levi for this one. Mm hmm I mean I can also write it down just so that I'm not like <laughs> cheating or changing my answers later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll say he's number one. Okay. Alright. Next gamer. If they all have like Minecraft or something on them. That's gonna be ridiculous. Assassin's Creed, Fallout 4, Stardew Valley. Now this person didn't give me their favorite Fallout and their favorite Assassin's Creed, so this could be changed out with multiple of those um, series. Well, that's a little unfair. <laughs> I, they didn't get specific with me. Damn, that makes it difficult. Okay. Um. Well, Stardew Valley immediately makes me think of my sister, but I, I have never, I don't recall her ever talking about really or playing the Fallout games, and it wouldn't make sense for her to not have Pokemon, because Pokemon is like her jam, for sure. So Assassin's Creed and Fallout. Who did? Okay, well, I know it's not a few people. I don't think... God, also thinking of who else would be on this list, like Bjorn's girlfriend Zoe, that's going to be a hard one to pick. Yeah, there, there's a lot of mystery characters on this. Like, you might have a semblance of what they might put, but mm -hmm. it'll be tough. I think this might be... This could make sense that this might be Caitlyn. Yeah. I mean, because Assassin's Creed kind of makes sense for that because it's like action adventure -y. and then I think I know that they that Sabrina and Caitlyn both played Odyssey or like the Egyptian one mm -hmm. so that would at least be two and then I guess Fallout is one of them maybe New Vegas everyone seems to love New Vegas alright so you're locking in Caitlyn I think I think it has to be I mean because I can't think right now of who else it would be <laughs> alright we'll, we'll go with that Okay. Next gamer. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> See, actually this person did put specifically Assassin's Creed 2. Okay, Assassin's Creed 2, Minecraft, and Persona 5. I can't even think of anybody else in our friend group who's even played any of the Persona games besides you. <laughs> I have not. 
played any Assassin's Creed. Well, no, I played some of the newer ones. But that was it. No shot. Somebody else. I'll give you that. Persona Five. No way, dude. I don't think Anthony would say Minecraft though. So this is hard. This yeah. Is difficult. There's no shot he would say Minecraft. There's no. I mean, I guess. Oh shit. Maybe Anders. Because Anders really got into anime, at least somewhat recently. But is he into anime games? I would think, I would think it's a possibility, but Assassin's Creed is, Assassin's Creed, you know what, I'm going to make a prediction here. Assassin's Creed is probably going to be on most of these, isn't it? I'm not going to say Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. not going to say. It, it seems like a weird game that like everybody seems to like. Maybe I'm just in the minority here and it's not my favorite, but, oh my god, but Anders and Andrew are both really into Minecraft and I don't think Everett is. I think this might... I think I'm going to go with Andrew. Andrew seems okay. like this will have to... It just has to be Andrew. Because I don't... All Persona right. 5 is really throwing me for a loop. Because I'm like... I just always think of Persona 5 as you. Yeah. Makes sense. I do love the game. I played through it like two or three times. Yeah. And you're thinking about playing the older ones too. So... Yeah. It's up your alley. I, I gotta stick with Andrew. It's probably wrong. All right. But we'll Locking it in? Locking Andrew for number three. All right. Next gamer. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> no. No shot. Okay, now this... I think I have to go with my guy. I think this is Bjorn. I think Bjorn... Okay would be the one to say this, but I wouldn't think that he would have picked the Force Unleashed specifically. I thought he would have picked, like, Jedi Survivor or uh, Fallen Order. That was the, the first game, but that was what I was Yeah, that was the first one. Because I know him and Levi were, like, talking about it for a while after Bjorn finally played it. But I think, I think that's what makes... Well, hmm. But then it also surprised me that he wouldn't say anything about COD or Escape from really? Tarkov. He is an FPS gamer. He's an FPS like a true guy. So okay, we'll stick with Bjorn for number four. All right, next gamer. Ooh, okay. God of War Ragnarok, Mass Effect 2, and Gears of War 2. Mm -hmm. This makes me think Anthony right off the rip. It really does. Really? Because I don't know if... I don't know if his brother Chris has played... God of War Ragnarok, because I know that they they have like that like that PlayStation like primary like account thing of a lot we're going, so they can essentially have the same games. But like, I know that they both talked about Gears of War. I know that they both have at least talked about God of War Ragnarok. But I don't think Chris has played it. I think it's just Anthony. At least I know that Anthony got it on launch. Yeah, I did. And then Mass Effect 2, I feel like, is just, like, the Mass Effect game to play, to my understanding. Yet I have not played it. I'm going to go with Anthony for now. So Anthony All right. is number five. Okay. Next one. No shot. No, no way. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, fuck. Okay. Well, now I'm just trying to think of in advance. Who would have said... Oh! Oh! Okay, well now that's a wasted that's the wasted mulligan. Okay, so I know that this is definitely Bjorn with Ark for sure with Rainbow. Hell yes, and with Tarkov. So I know this is definitely yeah, Bjorn. But I'm gonna have to say Anders for now, and I'll end up switching them later for sure. Okay, okay, it has to be. All right, next one. Of course, you fucking say Ark, that weirdo. Oh. Would my sister be the smart ass to do something like this? <laughs> I will say everybody on this list was pretty legitimate with their answers. Okay, maybe this is Zoe then, because maybe she just doesn't play a lot of video games. Mexican Drain, <laughs> Speed, and Candy Crush. That's that's funny. There's because there's no way this is Keith. There's no way that this is. There's no way this is Melanie because I don't think she's even ever played Mexican Train because I only introduced it's a very her. Very casual gamer out of all the people in the list. It's, it's got to be Zoe. I think it. I think it has to be Zoe, man, because 
I don't even know of any like video games that she's even played with us. Like maybe a round yeah, of Smash sure. Bros. And like that's it. So you're locking in, Zoe? The only thing I'm judging her on is the Candy Crush, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Next one. God, I feel like I'm really going to regret my decisions. Ooh, okay. The Last of Us. Is it specifically the remastered or just the first Last of Us? Uh, just the first one. Okay. Borderlands 2 and Skyrim? I mean... The Last of Us makes me think of my sister, but yeah, Borderlands 2 and Skyrim, I think, is a no. So maybe this is somebody that I don't know very well. I would think Everett would have something to do more with anime. Well, I love this so much. I, I love your deliberation on things. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you just like watching me suffer. <laughs> um, I don't think it'd be Everett. Because in my thought process, he would do something with anime. I know he at least used to be really into Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but... He's still pretty into it. Okay, so I, I mean, I would think that, like, the anime would help me... Would help give it away that it's him. So I don't think that it's Everett. Keith, I don't really know too well. I mean, Skyrim is a big game. A lot of people love Skyrim. Last of Us is pretty widely acclaimed. And I don't really know much about Borderlands 2. But the person who I'm going to have to go with is that maybe this is Chris. Because I know okay. that Chris is super into Borderlands. And I bought, what was it? I remember I bought, I think, the first Borderlands game to try and play it with him. And then we had internet. You probably bought the pack of maybe. one and two together. Yeah, because like we had connectivity issues. And I'm just like, well, I'm out whatever, however much money for like two or three games. So, I mean, not a big deal. But it's just sad that I couldn't play right. it with him. Yeah. So I think I have to go Chris for number seven, because that makes sense. Okay. He just doesn't really talk about right. Skyrim. Really Halfway well. through, how are you feeling? Uh, well, I know I made a big mistake. <laughs> Bjorn and Anders at number five, so that's an easy switch at least. But yeah. I'm feeling unconfident, but okay. <laughs> I think, okay. aside from the middle of the pack there, I think I'm doing relatively good maybe caitlin's i got right. wrong but we'll just have to see the second half are you ready for the next one then yes i am all right next gamer i immediately am thinking of keith i mean i mean anthony's never talked about saints row or lollipop chainsaw so and the only two games that those two would talk about and would share would be Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Chris would have played Lollipop Chainsaw. It doesn't seem like that'd be up his alley. I mean, I've only really, like, heard of Saints Row. I kind of understand what it is, but I don't really have, like, a full picture of it. I think I have to go with my gut again. We're going to start with Keith, but... He might be a mulligan too, depending on <laughs> what comes next. All right. All right, next one. Like the animations, though. Oh, yeah, I, I had to get creative, you know? Oh, man. Bloodborne, Dragon Age, and Skyrim. Somebody who's really into fantasy. Who's really, who's really into fantasy? Maybe this is Caitlyn? Maybe Caitlyn didn't play Stardew Valley. I, I don't think of either of them as, like, really seeking a huge challenge, though, with Bloodborne. That's the part that's really throwing me off. I could see Dragon Age Inquisition for her, but I already said her. And I could see Skyrim. And I don't think Blaine has played... I've never heard him talk about Dragon Age Inquisition. Or anything about Dragon Age. I feel like a lot of people have played Skyrim, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I need to play that eventually. Um, it's easily not Melanie. I can scratch that off the list. I don't think it's Sabrina. But she does like fantasy stuff. I would feel like she would have to say Pokemon. Could it be though. somebody you already locked in? It, I think it has to be somebody I locked in already. I'm thinking maybe that one is Caitlyn. God, I'm, I'm going to have to mulligan so many people, though. It'd be such a problem. Hmm. Um, 
We're gonna go with... No, because I don't want to say Everett to start with, because then I know I'll have to switch his. Because his won't be Stardew Valley. Okay, <laughs> for the Mulligans, when you say I have three of them, does that mean that I get to, like, I get a switch? So, like, let's say if I have Bjorn and Anders as four and five, their switch from Anders to four, Bjorn to five, is one Mulligan? Or is that two? You know, I think instead of a three Mulligan, how about I'll go through the list one more time, and then in there you have to give me your exact for each of them. Okay, I like that. I like that a little bit better, because I can okay. at least. Okay, so then in this spot, with Dragon Age, Skyrim, Bloodborne, we're gonna say. We'll just we'll put it. Oh God, I don't know who to put it for. We'll put Everett here for now. So this is number nine. He's definitely gonna okay. get moved. All right, you got me. You got me thinking, bro. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. No. Friday Night Funkin'. I have not heard of that game. So, um, the Friday Night Funkin' is a rhythm-based game. That's, I was gonna say, that's what I figured. Is it like, wait, it's not, no, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I'm thinking that it's like, I remember that there's this game that I've like seen before that's like a rhythm-based like dungeon crawler. It's not this, is it? No, it's, it's kind of like... It's kind of like Dance Dance Revolution, but I think your versus NPCs and stuff. Okay, okay. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Would this be Everett? That's, I don't think it'd be Blaine, because I don't think, I think Blaine hates Minecraft. Um, so this person loves Minecraft. That's a fact. Maybe this is, maybe this is you. I won't say. Because... Uh, but you've played a lot of games, though. I have. And this does have Persona 5 in it. And it does have Minecraft. I'm going to say this is you. I'm going to say this is Albert at spot number 10. Because I think you're trying to be a smartass and throw me for a loop with Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. All right. Okay. This is Sabrina. This is an easy lock-in. I'm surprised that she picked Platinum out of... Is this a specific Pokemon that she picked? Yes, this is a specific one. Okay, I'm surprised that she picked Pokemon Platinum, but I mean, Generation 4 is a go-to generation, so I guess that's the best way to play it. Breath of the Wild makes sense, and then Last of Us makes sense, so easy <laughs> number 11. <laughs> Finally, right. somebody that I'm for sure about <laughs> for once. Like, holy shit, okay. But I am ready for the next gamer. Uh, three people with Persona 5. Uh, well, it has to go in Blaine's spot. So this has to be 12 for now, but I know that this isn't Blaine. Okay. So we're staying with that for now? All right. Wait, that means that we fucking already we've already passed Blaine then. No shot. Um, yes, we have. No shot we've already passed. Yeah, oh. we, we have. Oh, okay. Blaine has been here. <laughs> next next game. <laughs> next game. Right. Which should be an easy slam dunk for Melanie. And it is. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank the Lord. <laughs> let let me check. <laughs> take a take a Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so it, so it was 13. Oh, well. Not 14. But... Oh, okay. But yes, I would like to play again. How long do I have in between so we'll, everybody? We'll go through the whole list again. And you're going to have to choose each one of them in there. And then we'll go through and see who they actually are. Okay. I'm down. All right. All right. Back to the front. Okay. Back to your... Beautiful face here. Yep, that's me at slide zero. <laughs> yep. All right, this one again. Are you, do you like your choice, or? What I you feel like that has to be Levi. I think it has to be number one. Okay, so yeah. Levi for this one. Because like Rainbow Six is the game that he plays. He loves Minecraft and he plays Smash Bros. Like that makes sense. 
So mm-hmm. I feel like all these are just throwing me for a loop because people are like-minded. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very close. So that's Levi's. We'll move on to the next one. Assassin's Creed Fallout 4. Okay, so it's definitely not... I feel it, because I know that Sabrina also plays Stardew Valley, so it would make sense that she introduced it to Caitlyn. So, maybe I like that as number two. I think of who else here. I think of who else here. No, maybe I do like that. Maybe I do like that right there, because now knowing that Sabrina's answer was really obvious, I think I want to keep Caitlyn as number two. So, Levi's locked in at one, and I think Caitlyn is good for two. This one, this one I think is one of the ones I want to change. I think this one, God, what did I say the Everett's was? Okay, so I think Everett's, and there was nothing with Dragon Ball. There was nothing in here with Dragon Ball. So (laughs) maybe, that's probably like, I think this might be Everett. I think I'm gonna switch this and have Everett be number three. All right. Because, I mean, I think the Assassin's Creed and the Persona makes sense. Right, next one. Oh, maybe, it was, maybe it was Andrew. And who did I say this was? I said that this was the number four for Bjorn. And then... So I wanted to switch these. And I think I will switch these. So this will be Anders now at number four. Okay. And then we go to the next one. And the next one should be Confident for Bjorn's. I think this is the next one. No shot. This is the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's the next one. Well, Anders was four and five. Okay, I'm just confusing myself here. Okay, so we'll move on. I think I'll keep Anthony as number five because God of War Ragnarok makes sense. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that this is Anders at number four with Daddy. Red Dead, Star Wars, and Super Smash Bros. We're gonna say that, yep, we're gonna say Anthony's number five. So okay. Maybe it was six, maybe I didn't write down six. Yeah, okay, yeah. six was Bjorn. Six. So I just, okay, okay. I just <laughs> fucked up in my own writing. Okay, six is Bjorn. And then All that right. means that Zoe should be next. All right. Sure is. And then the next one. Gosh, I can't, I, apparently I can't write. I think I'll stick with Chris. Okay. Stick with Chris for that one. So then we're going to the next one now? Yes. So I should have... I have... Wait, did we go by the... We went by the Ragnarok one. Because that one was Anthony. Yes, we did go by that one. Yeah, so I have... I have you. I got Andrew. Sabrina should be for sure. Melanie for, should be for sure. Blaine and Keith. I think this one is Keith. So this is number nine? Or number eight? <laughs> I don't remember the numbers. <laughs> well, we're gonna say that this is Keith. Maybe okay. this is. Maybe this makes sense that this is Keith. All right. Okay. Maybe I should stick with my gut and it's Keith. We're gonna say Blaine. Okay. I think this one is Blaine. Walking well, out with Blaine. All right. By process of elimination, I suppose. <laughs> Yikes. Um. I feel like this has to be you. You do? Because two are for sure, and if I'm going with my like my academic like testing brain, if two of the answers are right and there's an option for all of the above, <laughs> we're gonna go with all of the above. Surely it must be all three. Surely it has to be, because there's no way you wouldn't say Minecraft is your favorite game. There's no shot. So, Albert number 10. Yeah. And then I think I got the rest of this on lock, I'll just have to put Andrew in a spot. Yeah, because this is Sabrina at number 11. So, this is still a guarantee. Feeling better. So then maybe the next one... Maybe this is Andrew. I guess this has to be Andrew. So I guess Andrew is now 12 on the list. Wow, Shock and Resident Evil 2. Okay. Oh, no. I, shit, because this could be your games too. Fuck. No, I, I have to go with it. I locked in. I think I have to go with Andrew's 12. You, I, I'll let you change right now. Are you, are you sure you don't want to change or anything? Okay, we're going to make all right, Andrew in your spot with Persona 5, Minecraft, and that dancing game. 
and then we're going to put you here as number 12 okay. uh, with Bioshock and Resident Evil 2 and Persona 5. And All right. then last should be Melanie. And it sure is. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're locked in for everything, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to show you each and every one. And let's see what your score is at the end. I am locked uh, in. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll put in some insight after we find the answers, because uh, I'm a little shocked with uh, some of the choices. I am, too. This was a lot more boggling than I thought it would have been. I thought, like, three quarters of this whole list would have been really easy, and then people that I just didn't really know very well may would have been, like, difficult. But yeah. Some of the people were easier than I thought that I thought would be difficult, and vice versa. So I'm like, yeesh. Damn. <laughs> okay. So let's go through the answers. Back at the start. Number one. So you said... Levi. All right. Let's see if this is Levi. No way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> those, three, those three are all the same man. They are all the, the same yeah. person. Of course you do. They, they, uh, they are uh, quite similar, I'd say, yeah. Okay, so number one was actually Anders. Okay, well, I am going to get a few wrong then, because I feel like all three of those are probably wrong. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm for sure I'm going. Okay, so one is Anders. All next, right. Next one. <laughs> number two. Right out of the gate. You said... Uh, number two, I ended up locking in as Caitlyn. All right, let's see. So I didn't actually have a picture for her, but this is Caitlyn <laughs> from League of Legends. Right. I was right! Okay. Okay, number three. This was wrong. This was right. And I said number three ended up being... I said this was Everett was my final lock-in. Ha! Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're doing good. Yeah, I, I didn't know he liked Assassin's Creed that much. Like, he doesn't talk about it much. I was like, but he was adamant on putting two as his... That was, like, one of his guaranteed top and you three. you know, I forgot that he likes Persona, too. Oh, he loves Persona. Because I'm like, I knew he had to have something anime. And I he just... listens to the soundtrack as much as I do, like... That stuff's on repeat. Well, I mean, to be fair, the soundtrack is really good. Mm -hmm. Even for somebody who hasn't played the games. <laughs> but, okay, wow. Did not think it would have been Persona as as his pick for an anime game, but also still makes sense. I had to, yeah. I had to dig deep for that one. <laughs> All right, next one. You said... Number four, I had said was Anders, but this one's probably Levi. Okay. Yeah, that's our that's our handsome well, devil this? right there. Well, that's that's another L. Okay, number five. <laughs> I said this one was Anthony, solely All based right. off of God of War Ragnarok and a little bit of Gears of War. Are you ready? I am. This is Blaine? No, sure yeah. not. This is Blaine. Yep, this is Blaine. He he was very uh, uh he very talkative about these three. Okay. That's another L. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is obviously Bjorn. It has to be Bjorn. Okay. Nobody else plays Ark as religiously as Bjorn. That's like his god. <laughs> yep, there's our cowboy right there. <laughs> okay. I at least All there's right. an easy one. Yeah, that, that one was honestly no question about <laughs> it. Man talks about these three games all the time. All right, next one. Number seven. Zoe is what I said. I feel like this has to be her. You, my friend, would be right. Good. Glad to know we have a couple of easy answers. Yeah, she she was kind of freaking out. She's like, but I don't I don't play any video games. Like, dude, it could be any games. Well, so I was hyping myself up for this. I thought that Bjorn would have kind of been like me and introduced her to more like at least like single player or story based games. So I thought she was gonna be like a super hard one to pick out, especially with people like Everett and Keith on here. I'm like, mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be really hard, but Mexican Train <laughs> really stood <Yeah>. out to me. <laughs> right, next one. You said? 
Number eight, I locked in with, I said this was Chris. Wait, no, did I? I think you did. I think I locked in with Chris for this. And then, yeah, and then Blaine was next. Okay. And there's, there's our guy. There's the meme. <laughs> there's Chris and evil Chris, yep. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Number nine. And then I locked in with Keith on this one here. And I think... Right, let's check it out. It would make sense it was Keith, but you know, we'll see the answer here. Gosh, the effects. <laughs> ah, it's Keith! <laughs> yes, it is. Yep, that is indeed Keith. Okay. All right, and the next one you said... Number 10. Um, I locked in with... I think it's a Blaine, right? Yes, I said Blaine for this one. And I know that that's wrong, but who is this? The Bloodborne and Dragon. Come on, you've really got to think about it. Come on. Okay, so I'll show you it. And you're gonna I'm you're gonna, gonna realize I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna be really stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> this uh, man talks about Dark Souls games and FromSoft games all the time. But he didn't put Elden Ring? No, he he loves Bloodborne. Even more than Elden Ring. See, okay, so this is why I hate this, because he didn't put God of War. In any nope. reason, he didn't put Elder. Elder. Let's say Elder Scrolls. Elden Ring. He did put Elder Scrolls. <laughs> he didn't put Elden Ring on there, and he didn't put any FPS game on here yeah. at all. None of these are FPS games. I'm like, well, no shot, dude. <laughs> I mean, Skyrim is first person, but okay, like a first person shooter game. It didn't have to be COD, <laughs> but it had to be something. And Skyrim's also could be third person. Yeah. So I'm just like. It, there's nothing that was like a traditional shooter game that is on here, so this did not make me immediately think of Anthony. I'm like, no shot. No shot. You underestimated him, man. I, I did, apparently. But yeah, I, I thought Bloodborne would be the giveaway for him. He, you know, I realize it now, but I don't think he would have said Bloodborne is top three. Probably top ten in my mind before, but... I would have thought Elden Ring would have come for He plays that game every week, dude. At least once a week. Elden Ring? Yeah. Yeah, but Bloodborne, I think he platinumed and he I think he played through it like two or three times at least. That man hurts my And he always feelings. wishes for a sequel. He hurts my feelings. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to All right, the next, next one. one. Oh, okay. I said this was the, I said this was Albert. Wait, no. No, you changed it. I locked it. in with Andrew. Yeah. I locked in with Andrew for this. That's right. And it is. Okay, I'm thankful that I switched there right at the end. You. Dude, he. You he almost is so had me. into rhythm games. Really? Like, I was, I, I was surprised how much he's into rhythm games. Well, if I remember the name of that, like, dungeon crawler rhythm game, I guess I'll have to tell him if he doesn't know about it already. So then, next, I think the next one I said was you. No, okay, no, this one is Sabrina, for sure, easily. Let's see. There's no shot it isn't Sabrina. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. <laughs> but still a good story. Oh, okay, and then I thought, then I remembered right at the end of the, in like the Mulligan round, that like, you talk about Bioshock a ton. And you played through. Dude, at I least love this game so of much. The games, if not all of them. I, I love them so much. I, I love all three so much. No, number one is my favorite, but I love them all so much. So, this, but you picked Resident Evil two specifically as your favorite Resident Evil game. Yeah, I mean that was a little bit of a toughie, but, but I think, <laughs> <laughs> I, for, to me too, I love the tense feeling you have throughout the whole game like i'm so used to jump scares now just because of all the horror movies and games i play and watch mm -hmm. that just that feeling of like he could be around the corner or he could be following me the whole entire time through the game just i, I love that situation i just always felt like i was on my feet but yeah all right next one and then lastly 
was Melanie because she loves Portal yeah. 2. I guess I wasn't sure what she would have picked for the third game, but I mean, Castle Crash. <laughs> 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 but Castle Crashers makes sense. I mean, she loves playing that with her with her siblings and her family. So yeah, that's that is what she told me. She's like, this is one of my favorite games to play with the family. So many nostalgic memories from it. Good. Okay. Well. So how'd you do with your score, bud? After all of that, after the 14 that we have, let's see, I have... I had 10 out of 14 correct. Wow, I was that's wrong pretty good. on <laughs> Andrews, Levi, and then I got Blaine and Anthony mixed up. Those yeah, are the, the Blaine those and ones Anthony one's pretty rough. I mean, the, the Levi and Anders one, they are pretty close. <laughs> 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 okay. But yeah. Thanks for I, up I am happy you did a lot better than I thought you might have been doing. Like I said, there were a few that were really close, but at least the handful that were obvious were enough for me to get most of them right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, thanks for setting well, yeah. this up for me, Albert, buddy. Thanks for having me on. I really, I really enjoyed making this and gathering all the info on these guys. And I guess we'll... See everybody next time. Thanks for watching.